Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine. Fine, great, Pedro. Yeah. Uh, did you have a good day at work? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Great news. Do you practice in the platform? Uh, no. No, you haven't. I don't, I don't have a time. Oh, you, you haven't time. All right. Walter, what about you? How are you doing? How's everything? Hello? Hello, Walter. It's not there. Um, how are you doing, Hugo? How's everything? In work. Yes, at work. How's everything at work? Bad news? <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh, well, today we will continue practicing a little bit about furniture at home. And well, I have a presentation here. I'm going to share that presentation. Mm -hmm. Okay, here is basically what we have been practicing. Uh, we have been studying uh, rooms in the house. This topic will be related to preposition of place to. We're going to make a short review about preposition of place. Uh, we're going to learn how to use that is and there are. Uh, do you have any idea of that is and there are? Para que es esto? No? Okay, lo vamos a ver en esta sección. <laughs> Match and other things, words, and paperwork. Okay. Uh, rooms in the house. We got the kitchen. Okay. So these are some of the rooms that we usually have at home. Let's repeat, kitchen. 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 Study. 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 Okay, so we have the kitchen. Okay, study. 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 Hall. 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 Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Living room. Living, Living room. room. Bedroom. Bedroom. Bathroom. 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 Okay, where can you find these things? <coughs> can you see the desk in the study? Yes. Okay. Um, you can see the desk in the study, right? Do you know, do you remember the name of this? Armchair. Armchair. Okay, say the sentence. You can see the armchair. Yes. In which room? In bedroom. Okay, so you can say the sentence. You can see the armchair in the bedroom. That's a possibility. Or yes. you can say, you can see the armchair in the living room. Mm -hmm. Tú puedes ver, puedes ver um, este mueble en tal parte de la casa. De este es el ejercicio. ¿Cómo se llamaba este, este, este que está acá? ¿Cómo se llamaba este? Mm. 
Es como la mesita que está a la par de la cama. Bed table. Bedside. Bedside. Ajá, bedside table. Bedside También se le table. dice night. También se le dice night table. Es más fácil y más usado el uh, night me, table. Mesa, mesa de noche. Uh -huh. La mesa night. al lado de la cama. Mesa al lado de la cama sería ah, bedside okay. table. Ok. Ok. So, you can see the bedside table in the bedroom. You can see the bedside table in the bedroom. Yes. Mm. Now, where can you see a shower curtain? Shower curtain in the bathroom. Ok, can you say the complete sentence? La oración completa que estamos practicando. You can see. You can see. You can see. The shower curtain. In the, the shower, shower curtain. In the, in the, in the, the bathroom. In bathroom. The bathroom. The bathroom. Mm -hmm. Ok. ¿Cómo se llamaba esto? Closet. Mm, ah, you can call closet. Say the sentence using the word closet. You can, you can see the closet in the bedroom. Excellent. You can see the closet in the bedroom. Okay. This is stove. Se llama como estufa. Stove. 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 You can see your stove in the kitchen. kitchen. Very good. Nice job. How do you call this in English? Refrigerator. 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 Hay dos formas de llamarle. Refrigerator and fridge. Ahora la más común es fridge. El freezer como la nevera es fridge. And the refrigerator is kind of long and complicated. You can say fridge. 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 Aunque en la plataforma sale como refrigerator. Ok. You can see. You can see your refrigerator in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Yes. In the kitchen. How do you call this? Bed. 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 Okay, say the sentence. You can see the bed in the bedroom. In the bedroom. Excellent. In the bedroom. This kind of chair. 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 Mm hmm. You, you can, can see, see the dining room. room. In the study room. Okay, you can study. see the chair in the study room. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how do we call this? Skin. Sink. Ah, sink. Oh. Ah, yeah. se parece yeah. a skin. <laughs> skin is piel. Okay, sink. 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 Uh -huh. como, como pensar. No. Sink. Ajá, uh -huh. sink. Think is think is pensar is sink. 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 Uh -huh. Sink. Uh -huh. You can okay. see the sink. You can see the sink. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Good. You can see the sink in the kitchen. Good. Uh, how do you call this in English? Toilet. 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 Okay, toilet. say the toilet. sentence. You can see the you toilet, toilet in the bathroom. the bathroom. You can see the toilet in the bathroom. Uh, it's, this is a photocopy machine. Yes. Or a CD player. ¿Qué es eso? I don't know. Okay. No, I don't no, no, know. Sofa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sofa. Don't complicate. Sofa. You can see the sofa, sofa. in the... Living room. Living room. Okay, you can see the sofa in the living room. Good. Now, lamp. Lamp. You lamp. can see lamp. a lamp you can in see the, the lamp lamp in the, the study room. Okay, in the study room, in the bedroom, it's okay. Good job. Now, this is a microwave. Microwave, microwave oven. Kitchen. You can see the microwave oven. In the, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. 
you can see the micro micro right in the kitchen. in the kitchen yes you can see the microwave in the kitchen este es un como gavetero como se decía gavetero no dresser 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 you can okay. see the dresser in the bedroom the bedroom okay you can see the dresser in the bedroom the bedroom <coughs> Bedroom in the no. no, this is a, a fax machine. A fax machine. Mm -hmm. You can see the fax machine in the study, a study room. In the living room, machine in the study. Okay, no, you can office. see the fax machine in the living room or in the study room. Okay, this is called rock. Rob. Uh, Rob. You can oh. see the Rob. 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 In the Rob. living room. The living room. Mm -hmm. oh, eso es alfombra. Now, okay. Sí, alfombra. Bathtub. 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 You Back. can see the bathroom in the bathroom. The bathroom in the bathroom. Bathtub. You can see the bathtub in the bathroom. Okay, uh, this, let's continue. This is level of the things. Let's see. Um, um, uh, so you can see the number five is a mirror. And so we will level in and you will see what is the name of the things for example number one let's see a mirror let's repeat a mirror a mirror a, mirror. a wardrobe a wardrobe a lamp a lamp a rock a rock a dressing table a dressing table a picture a picture a blanket a blanket a curtain a, 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 a bedside table. A bedside table. So, what do you think is number one? The bedside, bedside table. 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 Okay. Ay, es esta cosa va en desorden. A mirror. Okay, there you have the numbers. One is, yes, as you say, a bedside table. This is a bedside, bedside table. table. Number two, a curtain. A curtain. A curtain. A curtain. Number three, a lamp. A lamp. A lamp. Okay, and so four is a picture. A picture. A picture. A picture. A picture. Uh, here number five is a mirror. A mirror. A mirror. A mirror. A mirror. Number six is a wardrobe. Wardrobe. A wardrobe. 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 Number seven. A dressing is table. A dressing table. Tocador, verdad? A dressing table. Sería lo que es un tocador. A dressing table. Number eight, a, a row. row. A row. A row. A row. And number nine, a blanket. A blanket. A blanket. A blanket. A blanket. Aha, es una sábana, una manta. Blanket. Wow. Now, the other point that we need to study is the use of there is and there are. Okay, so as we were saying, uh, let me see. Vamos a empezar con oraciones usando there is and there are. There is and there is. Mm, creo que no me la está mostrando toda. Vamos a cerrar esta. 
I need to close one tab. Okay, this is okay. Let's see the other, if I can see. There is Alderar. Okay. Well, uh, the topic or the main idea here is to use that is or oh, there are. Yeah. Uh, there is or there are. There are. Uh -huh. Why do we use them for? Para que los utilizamos? Que si, que es there is y que es there are? Ay. Yes? Para ver. Ah, pensé que decía hay de yo participar. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sí, ok. Um, there is y there are se utilizan para hablar de la existencia o no existencia de algo. Cuando decimos there is, uy, se me está apagando esta cosa, no voy a traer el cargador. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry. Me emociono y se me olvida que esta cosa se le acaba la batería. Okay. There is, lo vamos a usar cuando queramos decir hay y vamos a mencionar algo singular. Una cosa. Y there are es para siempre hablar de la existencia o decir que hay algo, pero plural. Okay. Por ejemplo, ¿qué tengo aquí en la mesa? Um, there, is, there is a wallet on the table. Estoy diciendo que hay una billetera. There is a wallet on the table. Hmm. Porque es una, ¿verdad? Ok, veamos, ese es plural. A ver si no desarmo estas cosas. Ok, there are, there okay. are two pens. cars. There are cars, puedo decir hay carritos, o there are two cars, hay dos carros en la mesa. There are two cars, está desarmando. There are two cars in, on the table. Ok. There are cars on the table. There are cars on the table. There is or there are. There is or there are. Okay, so there is a there is a pen on the table. There is a notebook. Um, there is a notebook. There is a pen. There are. There are pencils. There are color pens. Uh -huh. Hay lápices de color. Ok. So, eso es there is, there are. Para hablar de la existencia de las cosas. There is for singular. There are is for plural. Plural. Yes. Ok, let's see. Pedro, complete the sentence. Mm, there is a tree. There are uh, 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 apples. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Ahí está la oración. Eh, necesito que inicie con there is or there are y luego ah, okay. el complemento. Many apples in the basket. There are many apples in the basket. Let's see. This is correct. Very good. Thank you, Pedro. Hector. Nobody in the island. There are nobody on the island. There is nobody. There is nobody on the island. Island. Okay, there is. There is, porque dice nadie. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody is nadie. nadie. Nobody. No, there is nobody on the island. 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 Sailing. There is a library in my school. There is a library in my school. Bea? They are many tables in the room. There are, there are many, there are many leaves, leaves on the ground. On the ground. 
Very good, good job. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see who is this here. Uh, Monica? Okay. There is a detective spying my garden. Good job. Um, let's continue, Hector. There are there are two astronauts on the moon. That's it. Very good. Good job. Uh, let's continue, Hugo. Okay. There is a girl under the palm tree. Yes, there is a girl under the palm tree. Very good job. Uh, Walter? There are three kids playing with Lake. Yes, there are three kids playing with leaves. Very good. Uh, Jose? There is a boy sitting on books. Well done, good job. Alfredo? There are two boys near the snowman. Yes, that's the answer. <clears throat> Luis? There are many pupils in the classroom. There are many pupils in my classroom. Good job. What is pupil? What? What is pupil? Pupils. 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 Yeah, pupils. los pupils es como los pupilos, los estudiantes. Ah, pupilos. Así se refieren a, a los estudiantes en, en algunas veces. Pupils. Okay, Catherine. There is uh, on the island. On the island, okay. There is a treasure on the island. Good, excellent job. Okay, <laughs> so easy, right? Está fácil. Yes. 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 Okay. Great. Uh, now, para decir que no hay, es igual de simple. There isn't or there aren't. We follow the same. Um, let's see. I have another presentation for you. Uh, here it is. Esto es cuando no hay. Okay, cuando no hay. There isn't y mencionamos un nombre singular. There aren't y mencionamos algo plural. Is, is that okay? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Let's practice. Uh, apples on the ground. Rodrigo? Um, there, there aren't any apples on the ground. Well done. That's the answer. There aren't any apples on the ground. Uh, next, Gustavo? Um, there isn't an upper tree near. nearby. Nearby. Excellent. Emilio? Que es nearby. Ah, uh, es cuando está cerca. Okay, pero. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dice que no hay, no hay un árbol de manzana cerca. Uh -huh. Okay. Nearby, es cerca o en los alrededores? Um, there isn't a math lesson today. Mm -hmm. um, Excellent. There isn't a math lesson today. Very good. Alfredo Flores. There isn't any children here. <laughs> but yes. Uh, Luis? There the isn't a girl making a snow one. 
a snowman. There isn't. Okay, very good. Beatriz. There, there isn't any fire calls to red. Any fire tends to read. Okay, it is fairy tales. Fairy tales. Uh -huh, it's plural. Okay. Uh -huh, fairy they, they tales. Them. It's plural. Uh -huh, cuentos de hadas. Fairy tales. Okay, there aren't any fairy tales to read. Jenny? Fairy tales. I hear playing at the beach. Very good, good job. There isn't a girl playing at the beach. Uh, yeah, there. There aren't any teachers in the classroom. That's it, there aren't any teachers in the classroom. Claudia? There isn't a pirate for the Englishman. Okay, there isn't a good job, good job, a pirate. A pirate. Pirate. On the island. On the island. Uh, Carlos Romero? Yes, there, there aren't any girls at the bus stop. Good check. That's the answer. Very good. Well done. Sally? There are easy money people. No, there aren't many people in my high school. Yes, there aren't many pupils. Very good. Well done. Yeah, there. There isn't a boy behind the books. Behind. Behind. Okay, good job. There isn't a boy behind the books. Okay. Let's escape here. Good job. Okay, um, and this has its own, um, tiene su propia forma también de convertirse en pregunta. ¿Cómo iría en pregunta? ¿Tienen Is idea? Is there. Is there. Is there for singular? Are there. Are there, Are there for plural. Are there. Are there. Mm -hmm. It's there. It's there. All right, let's practice. Cuando quieren preguntar si hay algo, es is there, si va a preguntar por algo singular. Mm, si va a preguntar por algo plural, are there. Luego, no me te complemento. Let's practice. Mm, Pedro. Are there aliens on the moon? Excellent. Hello. Is there a parrot on the island? Excellent. Sally. Is there a library in your school? Well done. Bea. Are uh, there any good films at the cinema? Excellent job. Now uh, see, um, Hugo. Is there anybody at the maths century? Okay, good. Well done. Claudia? Are there any files in the bookcase? In the bookcase. Okay, good deal. Uh, Jose? 
Is there a dog with the detective? Okay, that's it. Very good. Luis? Are there any girls here? That's the answer. Good job. Um, Rodrigo? Is there a boy making bubbles? Okay, that's it. Very good. Emilio? No Emilio there, uh, Jenny? Are there girls making a sand castle? Yes, sand castle. Walter? Is there uh, children yes. playing puppets? Puppets. Are there children yes. playing puppets? Are there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Why? Puppets. Why? Children. Because, porque children, children is plural. Children and children. Children. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Eso children. es lo que se, se le conoce como un plural irregular. Eh, porque mm -hmm. la mayoría de nombres en plural lo agregan con S, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, manzana es apple, en plural apples. Mm -hmm. Pero en el caso del niño, en singular se dice child. child. Mm -hmm. Hasta aquí, hasta donde está la D. Y en plural es children. Children. Mm -hmm. Children. Ok. Good. Let's continue. Um, can no, can no, ya de? Is there a parrot on the palm tree? Yes, that's the answer. Is there a parrot on the palm tree? Okay, that's good. Pretty easy, right? Then the start little. Okay, now let's check out the content on the book. Is now that we have this clear, we can chart this. Okay, there is some more vocabulary practice here. We almost have this. Let's continue practicing vocabulary. Let's repeat armchairs. Armchairs. So curtains. Curtains. Picture. Picture. Bed. Table. Table. Coffee table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Lamps. Lamp. Sofa. Sofa. Desk. Yes. Bookcase. 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 Dresser. Dresser. Chairs. 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 Mirror. 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 Rock. Wow. Rock. TV. 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 Cupboard. 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 Any question regarding to vocabulary? Cupboard, cupboard es el uh -huh. último cupboard es es una alacena donde se guardan los uh, platos y, y, y tazas sería como un pantry aéreo o una alacena chinero. Uh -huh. un cupboard. chinero <laughs> sí, un chinero cupboard uh -huh. any other question Let's practice one more time. Armchair. Armchair. Stove. Stove. Curtain. Curtain. Pictures. Pictures. Bed. Bed. Table. Table. Coffee table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Lamps. Lamps. Sofa. Sofa. Desk. Desk. Bookcase. 
Dresser. Dresser. Chairs. Chairs. Mirror. Mirror. Rock. Rock. TV. TV. Cupboards. Cupboards. Eh, una pregunta con respecto yes. al, al rock. Al, 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 ¿Es alfombra o, 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 o qué es? Alfombra. Ajá, es una alfombra. La única que hay, hay dos palabras que, que se utilizan para referirse a una alfombra. Está esa que es rock, que digamos que es más bien como una alfombra pequeña o un tapete de piso. Rock. Porque está la alfombra que cubre todo el piso, esa Ajá. se llama carpet. Ah, oh, ya, yeah. que aquí la había escuchado. Uh -huh. Sí, a lo mejor ya la vio en la plataforma. Eso aparece rock, es, es un tapete pequeño y uh, una alfombra pequeña. Y carpet es cuando cubre todo el piso. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Um, let's continue with this exercise. Ok. Eso es más o menos lo que ya vimos, solo que aquí lleva lo que se conoce como quantifiers. Ok. There is y there are, que ya explicamos para qué sirve. Vamos a practicar pronunciación y luego les explico un poquito. Let's repeat. There is a bed in the bedroom. There is a bed in the bedroom. There is no sofa in the bedroom. There is, there is no, no sofa, sofa in the bedroom. bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There, is, there isn't there is a, a table in the, in the kitchen. kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are there some chairs some chairs in, the in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There are any chairs in the living room. Okay, one more time. There is a bed in the bedroom. There is a bed in the bedroom. There is no sofa in the bedroom. There is no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are, no there are some, some chairs in the, in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There are, there there are no chairs, chairs in, the in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There aren't there are any chairs in the living room. Chairs chairs in the living room. Okay. Um, con esto, lo que les decía que les iba a explicar es que um, hay cosas, eh, ahí hay unas cosas que se llaman quantifiers. Uh, los quantifiers, como su nombre lo indica, son para indicar cantidad. ¿Ok? Solo los vamos a usar para indicar una cantidad. En el caso de acá, donde ustedes ven, there is a bed. Es porque es un nombre singular. Cuando son singulares, usamos el artículo a o an, ¿verdad? ¿Recuerdan esa clase? Uh -huh. eh, significa un o una, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. uh, si aquí dice a, bed, porque el nombre que sigue empieza con uh, sonido consonante. Pero si empezara con sonido vocal, tendríamos que poner una A, una N después N. de la A. Ok, there is a bed in the bedroom. Estoy diciendo una cama. Lo que significa que si aquí hubiera un nombre plural, no voy a ocupar el A ni el AN. Ok. Uh, there is Solo no diría. sofa. Hola. Solo diría there is bed. Si tuviera la S. Uh, there's, um, there are, there are beds. Ah. Podría ser, hay, dormi hay camas. Hay there camas. are beds. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No el A, porque el A es solo cuando es singular, el A o el AN. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir que hay ventiladores en el dormitorio, there are fans in the bedroom. 
Okay. Por ejemplo, si, si va uno a un hotel y hay dos camas en la habitación, ¿va? Ajá. ¿Cómo diría que hay dos camas en la habitación? There, are two, there, are, two there are two beds in the bedroom. In the bedroom. There are two beds in the bedroom. Excelente. Ok. Cuando no hay, puede hacerlo de dos formas. Cuando es singular, there is no. Y mencionar el, lo, que, lo que no hay. There is no sofa in the bedroom. O there isn't a sofa. De las, cualquiera de las dos formas. Mm -hmm. okay. Luego el quantifier sum quiere decir algunas o algunas. Okay. Puedo decir hay algunas sillas. Some. There are some chairs. Pero obviamente no puedo usar el sum con algo singular, como decir, there is some bed, no tendría sentido, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Porque some quiere decir algunos o algunas. Algunas. Okay. Cuando sea una negación, puede usar el no, igual el no lo puede usar con singular y plural. There is no sofa, there are no chairs, independientemente. Well, in this case, there isn't a table, es another forma de negación. Y decir there aren't any, el any solo lo va a ocupar en negativas, porque es ninguno o ninguna. No hay ninguna sillas en el living room. There aren't any. El any solo en negativas y preguntas. Nunca se usa any en oraciones afirmativas. Ok. ¿Questions? No. No. Tom y Ani. Some es como decir algunos o algunas. Y el any es como ninguno o ninguna o nada de. Mm -hmm. Another question? No. No. Okay. So it's time for you to practice. And I hope that everybody has a notebook. Tienen su cuadernito por ahí para que completen estas oraciones. Vamos a hacerlo viendo el dibujo acá. Uh, pero primero no sé si alguien le puede tomar fotito a esta parte del grammar. Esta partecita. Y la mandan al grupo para que se vayan guiando. Porque si al mover yo o la voy a reducir. Si la reduzco puede que algunos no vean muy bien. Más si tenemos días de no revisarnos los lentes. Si le quito zoom, nos va a ser más difícil así, ¿verdad? ¿O si, si lo ven ahí? ¿Se ve? ¿Se lee? Sí, sí. sí, ok. Se las dejo ahí. Viendo este dibujo, tienen que ver la, la, el dibujo acá. Vean el dibujo, vean el dibujo. Y basándose en el dibujo, van a completar estas oraciones. Por ejemplo, la número uno dice dresser. ¿Qué dijimos que era dresser? Los vestidos. Es un vestido. Gavetero, un gavetero. gavetero. Dresser. In the bedroom. Dresser in the bedroom. Entonces yo veo aquí bedroom, no veo no ningún hay. dresser. No hay. Entonces la completé diciendo there is no. Porque no hay. There is no dresser in the bedroom. Chairs in the kitchen, TV in the living room, refrigerator, rugs on the floor, curtains in the window, mirrors in the bedroom, and books in the bookcase. Tienen que completarlas basándose en lo que se ve en la picture. There are some car in the kitchen. Okay. Vamos a hacerlo en el cuaderno y luego lo vamos a chequear. A ver cómo nos fue.
Uno, uno, uno. Yes. Yes. Finished. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let us check your work. All right, so this one is already done. There, uh, la uno ya está hecha. So there are some different options. In the number one, you can say there is no dresser in the bedroom or there isn't a dresser in the bedroom. Now, number two. There are. There are some. Three there are chairs. There okay. are chairs. chairs in the kitchen. Uh -huh. You can say there are some chairs in the kitchen or there are chairs in the kitchen. That's okay. Let us check the number three. What do you there have is, in the number three? There is, there is TV in the river room. Uh huh. There is, let's see the answer. There is a TV. A TV. A TV. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Cuando es singular, necesitamos decir un o un. Okay? okay. There is a TV in the living room. Okay. Uh, well done. There is a refrigerator. There is no refrigerator. No refrigerator. No. There's no. Uh -huh. So you have the two options. Tienen las dos opciones. There isn't a refrigerator or there is no refrigerator. Refrigerator. Uh huh. So both options are correct. Let's okay. see. Uh, number five. There aren't, there aren't no, no, any roads on the floor. There aren't any no. roads on the floor. There are no roads on the floor. Okay, no let us check. 
Uh -huh. So you can say there aren't any rocks on the floor uh -huh. or there are no rocks on the floor. Cualquiera de las dos respuestas es válida. Okay. Okay, and number six. There are no contains in the windows. Okay. Igual, igual caso. There aren't any curtains or there are no curtains. Cualquiera de las dos es correcta. Okay. And the last one. What do you have in the last one? There's a mirror, a mirror in the bedroom. In the bedroom. Yes, there is a mirror in the bedroom. And number eight? There aren't any books in the books. There are any. Okay. Pueden hacer las dos igual. Pueden decir there aren't any books in the bookcase or there are no books in the bookcase. Okay. Okay. Okay, how do you feel? ¿Qué aprendieron ahora? There is, there is, there are. There is, there are. There is, and there are. So, aprendieron a hablar sobre la existencia de las cosas o de la no existencia. Singular y plural. Singular, plural, hacer preguntas. So, mañana les toca a ustedes. Van a producir. Ahorita estuvimos solo como viendo cómo es la explicación y todo. Mañana ustedes van a producir sus oraciones y preguntas usando Deris y Derar. Deris y Derar. Y no sé cómo van en la plataforma. Espero que vayan al día. Estamos casi terminando la sección 2. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. ¿Cómo van? Por ese tema me he quedado yo. Ah, yo yo tengo una consulta ¿Sí? con, con respecto a la plataforma. Eh, después, después de que uno ve los videos, aparecen abajo como una serie de discusiones, dice ahí. Ah, sí. Y en eso yo nunca he escrito nada. No sé si es necesario que hay que escribir algo ahí abajo. No, no, no es necesario. Eso es solo como una práctica adicional, digamos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, pero no, no es necesario. Ok. Uh -huh. Any other question? No. Any other? Hmm? No more questions? No more. No more questions. No more. Okay. Thank you for clicking. Gracias por su tiempo, por estar puntuales acá. So, I hope you sleep well. And if you're having dinner, enjoy your dinner. Sleep well. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Jose, Good night. do you have any question? Mm, no, then the oil, but ya no. Ah, ya no. Perdón, Jose, o sea que la manita estuvo ahí toda la clase. <laughs> no, ya. <laughs> ok, ya, ya no quiero preguntar. Ay, mañana. No. Perdón. Mañana. O en el grupo de WhatsApp. And WhatsApp también puede. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Bye. Bye bye.